Oh, so hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the final of the UK BBL. I had to sack my move busted ghoul, which is okay because I wanted to sack him eventually. Um, but obviously, only three ghouls, especially when one's likely to be hit by a lightning bolt, isn't ideal. Um, and he's got tackle on both his dogs as well. So, so my ghouls are going to be a bit of a. And it's funny how some people that only play two ghouls and stuff, and it's like. I want four because they're fucking brilliant, you know? Like, yeah. crazy. The Blood Bowl tactics, which which some people have alleged that I copy off of my builds, their recommended build for an undead team is two ghouls and 30k in the bank. And it's like, what the fuck, man? you got to have four ghouls. You gotta, well, it's got to start with three ghouls and, and you want four yeah. ghouls because they're brilliant. Um, but yeah, I think it's worth getting a mummy for a ghoul. <laughs> yeah. I was considering sacking one of my ghouls just yeah. and a little zombie so I'd have... 12 men and then I think you'd yeah. still have to sack a ghoul or something I can't remember yeah it would have been tough for me then even even tougher so yeah I'm trading a ghoul for a mummy loner definitely the fact he was move busted if he wasn't move busted I would have probably kept him but the fact he's move busted means that I would want to replace him at some point anyway and now due, due to this horrible um, player market that they have in UK BBL maybe I can just buy somebody's ghoul with, with like 5 star <laughs> player points or block or something so that would be good wouldn't it Right, so here we are. If only I could have got Setek as well, I might have sacked somebody else to get Setek somehow. <laughs> <laughs> if that was a possibility. But um yeah. No, I had to double check that Setek wasn't in Yeah, I was thinking about I was thinking about <laughs> delay delay the match till the fifteenth to get Setek. <laughs> Cause that might, that would've I would have considered that. No no wizard but Setek. <laughs> would have been alright, because you know, like it would have made up for not having a mummy a little bit, wouldn't it? But I, I think maybe the Merc Mummy is even better. They can't, no, I don't know, they can't. They can't buy Necro Ghouls and Whites and Zombies. Because it is a Necromantic Ghoul or a Undead um. Ghoul. It would it'd give too much an advantage to Necro and Undead, wouldn't it, if they had twice as many as well, to be honest. Oh, I lost the toss. I don't know what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> I should have thought more about this now, I've only got 30 seconds. Yeah. Yet another fault with uh, with Cyanide, with you giving you no time to make decisions. I really hate the use your reroll in the 15 seconds thing. I think that's the worst. The uh, absolute okay. worst. Oh, you're kicking. Yeah. We've got a kick. Fashbinder's here. All right. Well, I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool having VIP bleeding hippie in, isn't it? <laughs> in the VIP lounge. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I think... Walk up. <laughs> shit, he walk up in time. <laughs> oh man. What what do you think, VIP bleeding hippie? Do you want do you wanna do you wanna chat while we play or do you wanna just have Fashbinder's commentary on? Uh, I don't mind. You don't mind. What about everybody watching? Somebody watching say something. <laughs> I would like my turn time, Targaryen Tantrum. I would like my four minutes or three minutes or two minutes turn time. And then use that turn time to maybe, if I wasn't expecting a double skull or whatever, um, I could then think for a minute before I decide to use a reroll. Not have to think for a minute before attempting to make every single fucking block. You know, that could be crucial or whatever. It's it's stupid. It's ridiculously stupid. So, um, there you go. Whoa, your friend Lupac who agrees with you. Holy shit. Um... Oh man. I guess I'll split it up. Bring out the banter. We could we could just get we could just get we can just get fucking fash in as well, can't we? And then he can just I'll do I'll make him I'll make him an honorary <laughs> VIP. There you go. You can just join you can just join in um you can just join here, Fashbinder. You can be an honorary VIP. Um. Yeah, I think I think your turn time should be for your fucking turn. You know, I think that's. Oh no, it's a journeyman fucking skeleton. Fuck off. Piece of shit skeleton. Oh. oh Is it always a skeleton? I guess. I guess it must be. Just cyanide things, eh? I guess I've never really had 
less than 11 players. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's rare, isn't it, is, is Undead, to be fair. To be fair, it's pretty rare for Undead to have, to be down then. Oh god, I hate having to rely on this fucking loner guy. But it's better than better than not having a mummy, isn't it? Let's be honest. Yeah. Right. I think this is okay. All men's blitz blitz loses me the game probably. <laughs> Almost certainly loses the game to a blitz, but that's the thing, you you know, if you're playing if you're playing some random guy in champion ladder, then obviously you set up so that you don't lose to a blitz. But if you're playing someone who's who's like good, and in the finals and stuff, it's like you can't exactly just deal with every eventuality, can you? No. And then if you do, like, you'll probably just get pitch invasion anyway and get fucked. Either yeah. Way. <laughs> yeah. Tackle no good. Oh, lovely. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Pretty important to get the power there, so it can protect the pommer. Yeah. Right, Lona, Lona block, let's go. Oh yeah. Shithead film to pick up. <laughs> Built a huge stairs on top of a mountain and jumped over the walls. That's awesome. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Yeah, that was a very lame first turn, wasn't it, really? That was about a good good first turn as Bleeding Hippie could have asked for there with 11 players. Giving up the pom hit, the tackle tackle on a ghoul. Mighty, three dice, mighty blow on, on zombies and nothing. Shada. Absolutely, Sir Ironclad. He has a wizard. He is going to bolt my guy and probably kill him because he's a fucking shithead ghoul. Oh, that's why. I, that's why I don't like. Didn't like <laughs> sacking them at the, at the movement six one because he was going to carry it as being already injured. I can maybe carry with the wrestle one because he's the one that I don't mind. I mind losing the least. Um, but yeah, I thought the agility for sure hands doesn't really want to carry it, does he? <laughs> he doesn't want to get blasted by a bolt. Let's be honest. Normally, what I do is I normally pick up with the agility four. Then realise too late, and then hand it off to the agility three, and uh, <laughs> and then fuck it up from there. But this time I actually remembered, and but uh, oh well, putting pressure on. Of course, he bought a wizard. Of course, he did. It's not enough to be up two hundred TV, sack sack three players so that you, so that you deny your opponent a merc uh, merc mummy, and then you've got to buy a wizard on top. But um. I bought I bought the wizard as well, so I mean, it was only like, well, it would have only been about hundred TV difference, or something, wouldn't it? But yeah, I mean, I I my, my wizard's a cheaty wizard as well, so I can't really complain. I think I just have to put pressure on, seeing as the ball wasn't picked up. Hmm.
Oh, right next to the pommer. Shall I, shall I fish for the pow? That's the question. <laughs> well, I'd love to. I'm hoping the blitz there will mean that the bull is less protected. Go so on. he'll be okay there. God, could you imagine fishing for the pow and getting it? Holy shit. <laughs> Game winning blitz though, isn't it? Like if it works, that's a that's a game winning blitz right there to kill a kill a kill a um thing. <laughs> Whatever it's a called. Thing. <laughs> kill a thing. Where does this ghoul want to go? It feels like I have no players already, I just don't understand. It's because everyone's based. All men's. All the time. Mm. Uh, I guess he just stays back. In case something something crazy happens and he run through. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got block, so he can fuck off. <laughs> And get up around here, that's okay. Let's try to kill this guy. Try to kill this guy. I want to foul them. <laughs> I really want to blitz this and foul them. Fucking hell, that's so dumb. What's this? Is that one of the werewolves? I want to blitz. Yeah, I want to blitz the werewolf <laughs> and then foul him. Why can I never hurt people when I want to hurt them? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I want to hurt them all the time. Right. Good. Didn't lose on the 1 in 36 chance. <laughs> Being sad about that. Maybe I should move the tackler in to base with his ghoul to make this a three die. Didn't even need it. Injury! Come on! Oh, he's regen, <laughs> hasn't he? Because he, um, there wasn't yeah. a fucking armor break animation. Scheiser. <laughs> See you later! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Super zombie. Didn't want that zombie f surf there, really. Hmm. That was a shameful piling on display, wasn't it? And maybe I didn't <laughs> need to pile on because um, it's going to be hard. Would have been hard to blitz him with a werewolf. Really sucks carrying with the agility for you. Yeah. Oh man. Do you have four rerolls or did you get an extra one? Uh, I got one for the kickoff. Yeah. Trembling, yeah, I'm so I'm so nervous. 
Look at my hands. <laughs> um, I'm a bit cold, to be honest. I think that's what it is. I'm actually a bit cold. Wow, look at this super, super ghoul here. <laughs> cry like Cristiano Ronaldo. Does he cry a lot? I don't recall him crying. Um, thank you for the follow, Re Reed, Reed Teal Leaf. Um, yeah. Because the wizard will kill the ghoul. Yes, that's the, the exact answer from VIP Scouty there. Is the wizard is guaranteed to not roll a one. And is in fact guaranteed to produce a death. So, that's, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> right, I'm going to block with this man. Jump up. Oh, I've got to jump up. Oops. Oops. Did you really forget though? Or are you, are you mind gamesing me? No, I actually forgot. <laughs> okay. I believe you. I'm gonna pile. I can't resist. Oh, fuck off. This is really fucking shit, isn't it? Just having to go for the two dice blitz instead of the three. If I'd powered him, I would have moved someone else and made it a three dice, I think. Unlucky can you get? Absolute joke. <laughs> Game's a fix. I'm gonna uninstall it. <laughs> what the fuck? I've never seen that gif of Ronaldo. Bop and my yak, thank you for the follow. Have this one in my yak, it hasn't worked. The Dublin skulls. Oh, he's going for the greed, greed reroll. This has been a very unimpressive game by both teams so far, hasn't it? <laughs> very unimpressive. Two pylons for nothing. Oh, zombie in the zombie fleshy. Stand firm in the cage. Terrifying. Hello, VIP Sen eighty nine. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what do I want to do? You should just definitely roll double skulls, whatever whatever your plan is. <laughs> <laughs> roll some double skulls would be ideal. Toby 179, thank you very much for the follow. Uh oh. Ooh. Wrestled! Wrestled! Get wrestled! Where's the fucking dirty player? Where is he? Oh, he's right there! He's right there! Oh, exciting. <laughs> just base him to get him to stop it. <laughs> 
Um, thank you, Rogue Sergei. Don't like that name. <laughs> Rogue Sagai. Then, then I can, then I can say it. <laughs> oh man, Dirty Player is available. <laughs> well done, Ducky. <laughs> Usagi, right, good. I don't, I don't know anything. Oh yeah, Rog Usagi. Ooh. Yeah, all right. Yeah, there you Ooh. go. Then. That sounds good. Better than having it say Sage. One dice powers me. Unbelievable, Jeff. That's another <laughs> assist. That's just, I'm just looking at it as another assist. <laughs> <laughs> Oh <laughs> no way! <laughs> what a llama. That controls my blitz, doesn't it? <laughs> you don't want to foul this wolf, I have to blitz him. Holy shit. This is a right clusterfuck now, isn't it? Yeah. Fucking <laughs> legend! I know the blitz that I want to make, so. I'm just gonna go and do it. That's a dodge. Why is that a dodge? Oh shit, that's a player there! Oh ho! Good job I didn't just click it, eh? <laughs> Pals in. Oh, he got the power. Fucking dirty player, he's a legend, isn't he, this dirty player? He's, he's gonna get you one way. <laughs> he doesn't get a foul of Wolf, but he just stuns him. <laughs> and he just smooth stuns him anyway. Right, this guy's gotta do the blitz then, hasn't he? Can loan a blitz. Oh, yeah. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because he doesn't have he doesn't have um, the guard like the other one had. So if it failed, it was still all right. Probably should just blitz this one. Yeah, definitely should have blitz this cool. Alright, just got a block. The old one dicer. Was that meant to be a three plus? Yep. Oh, I was going to block with him, but he's not. He's not. That, he's already moved. Oh, this is really a disaster. <laughs> All right. Oh, absolute clusterfuck. What on earth do I do now? Oh no. Done. Absolutely done. That fucking fail pickup put me under too much pressure, didn't it, really? But that miss blitz was wrong. I should have blitzed with her. I should have just blitzed this ghoul here, I think. And then rotated around. That was too much in. With him not having guard like he used to have. That's the thing. That that guy used to have guard, the um the mummy. And if he had guard, then obviously this is a two D. This is then a two D as well pretty easily. 
and it would have all opened up if I could have got a guard in there. Thank you for the follow, Easy Kyle. It's really confusing them being two lots of. two lots of fucking. necro in it, undead, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, nothing's happened, has it, Will King? Very underwhelming for me. I mean, I'm under the cosh, aren't I? To be fair, despite having the one removal so far. Just not getting. well, got a nice knockdown there. But there's no. there hasn't been oh, a lot of. Dumb. That didn't change anything. <laughs> <laughs> the only big thing, I guess the big thing has been the not knocking down the, the fleshy. Knocking down the fleshy there would have been huge and would have opened up a lot of stuff. But, um... Where the fuck are my blitzing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have thought about my blitz for longer than zero seconds. That oh, was a very good placement of that ghoul. Yeah, see, this is why piling on so good, isn't it? Because otherwise you just get punched. Like everyone says, oh, if you pile on, you'll get fouled. And it's like, if you don't pile on, obviously not that I had the opportunity here. But if you don't foul on, you'll just get fucking blitzed, then fouled. <laughs> so it's like, it's just such the, it's the most stupid thing I've ever heard when people say, like, oh, I got punched for piling on and stuff. And it's like, well, you know, a lot of the time, if you don't, if you don't pile on, you'll just get blitzed, then fouled. Huge though losing that guard and obviously him having Lona and therefore leading to me losing a losing a blood school. Yeah, lizards lizards are bad for developing. Especially in like black box, well, matchmaking kind of environment, because yeah, you lose to Saurus, as it is Blob Skills and Club. Saurus. Also, this plural draz is Saurus. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That's the problem with them, because they can't avoid the claw, and they just get banged on. Yeah, they're, they're great for the finals. Yeah, exactly, Ducky. For the finals, they're great, but um, it's just getting there. It's very hard for them to get skilled up. Easy. Are you going for a 1D on the ball or something here? Or, well, can't really. No. I don't really know what I'm doing here, to be honest. <laughs> Just making blocks and hoping something happens. Yes, there you've learned well. <laughs> <laughs> this is my trademark strategy. Just if you can't go wrong if you make two dice blocks though and, and hope it all goes well. That's a great strategy, to be fair. This guard is so annoying. I need more guard. You can't Saran Clad, especially when the new rules come out, because then it's Saurus Blocker, and then it's absolutely 100% so the, the plural Saurus. Oh, look Ooh. at that pal. I mean, sure, you got Tackle, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that doesn't change anything, that changes nothing. But if I go here, I could do that. Oh. Scheiser. He doesn't have guard though. <laughs> Thank God. I think that it's. It, I think they're definitely stronger with guard. The fleshies. It's just obviously blocks really good, isn't it? Especially for building, building in the future. Right. So obviously he's going to block him. He's going to block him. Then I can escape. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> um, oh, why is that? he's got guard? Oh, shit. So I just gotta do a one dice to start the turn. Start the turn with a smooth one dice. It's two plus. Elves do it all the time. God. <laughs> oh my god, it's my shithead zombies. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking armor. Um, it's just that one, that one dirty player zombie is. Yeah, great. yeah, yeah. He's like, let me foul people. I'll hurt people whether you, whether you want me to or not. Um, right, so I got to make the dodge now, and I might as well just do it now, so I can see what happens.
Hmm. Sweet pal. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's fair enough, isn't it, mighty blow? You can't you can't argue with a mighty blow uh <laughs> mighty blow still. Leaning heavily on the <laughs> on the uh, on the old zombies to do anything here. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, that wasn't really a greed reroll, was it? Because obviously it was he was easy to dodge out and hit the ball. Because I didn't want to risk the one in nine from him. Now I can do a one dice block. Needing a power, needing a four plus. I guess I've got to do four. Oh, he's got a guard anyway. Oh, it doesn't matter. Really Skull, please. <laughs> Skull it, piece of shit. Random removals does feel amazing, man. Random's two big stuns there, weren't they? Huge, as Donald Trump would say. <laughs> MVP is just random, yeah, in, in Blood Bowl two. Hopefully, um hopefully they'll follow they'll follow the the Blood Bowl twenty sixteen rules of you choose you choose three players and then roll a d3, which I think is an amazing, amazing rule. Come on, one on this. Need some bad dice from you, hippie. That's what I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> There is no info, no. Um, ah, Blitz and Zombies, feel good man. I think there was anyone else I could really Blitz. Yep. I was, it wasn't a criticism, um, merely an observation. <laughs> <laughs> Try and get in the way. More announcements. No. Mm. <laughs> interesting, very interesting. I want to do safe moves first, but there aren't really any. Because <laughs> oh, I want to see how everything shakes out. That's the thing, isn't it? I 
piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he's in the way. I should have moved him in there first. That's where he was always going to go. I really fucked up there. You're talking about moving the mummy before the blitz? Yeah, I should have moved the mummy. Because I guess he was going to go there, whatever happened. Now that necessitates a change of plan. Getting to the old fireball formation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to use the fireball though. That's the thing, isn't it? A fireball yeah. increases the chance of my agility fall. <laughs> Cool surviving, <laughs> which is which is all I really care about at this point. If I want to keep the team, if I I, the, I guess the good thing is if you do bought my agility four guy and he dies, then I'm much more motivated to reroll the chaos dwarves <laughs> much earlier. <laughs> The fireball here isn't very good either. There's no, there's no way to get the ball off it. Is there really? I don't think I wouldn't. Well, not that I'm mm. trying to. It's, it's really that's the bad thing about having somebody on the voice <laughs> or like watching the stream it's like i'm i'm just talking genuinely i'm not i'm not i'm not devious enough to be like feeding misinformation i always love how in lupac streams he always just calls out absolutely fucking terrible plays for his opponents <laughs> he's like he's probably just gonna he's probably gonna make three dodges and two gfis to one dice speak ball carry here and then they, they invariably do it as well and um so yeah i don't I don't think that's a good, a good, um, a good time to use the fireball. Just because, with with a fireball, you want I don't know two players, any two players, knock down to be good, don't you? And get get heat on the ball and stuff. Um, yeah. And that there just wasn't really unless unless like you kill the ball carrier, knock down the other two ghouls. That was really the only good result from that fireball. Do I do this one dice before dodging? <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's I like, more likely to. I, I like can reroll it, the, so it's more likely to work, isn't it? You could do. I like the blitz from the flesh column there. That was, I, I, that was that's what I would have done. Shame it wasn't a knockdown though. If it had been a knockdown, it would have been great. Yeah, because what I really wanted was I really wanted the the, the mummy in there. And then the the tackler, you know, where the zombie is, kind of thing, uh, where the mummy is, and then that, that would have been so much harder for you to do anything, free up the wheel and the mm. ghoul. Ghoul and the wheel would have both been in tricky spots. This flesh goal and blitz wouldn't have been possible. That would have been possible. It just wouldn't have done much. Well, where are you wanting to go next turn? Wow, thinking about the next turn. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm ba basically, like, well, the only thing I've got left to do is position, like, my blodge players so that they can do something if something bad happens. <laughs> <laughs> this is way too advanced for me. Think about the next turn. I just, I just got, you know, two dice. Two, this lad will two dice. This lad, and then hopefully it all works out in the end. Hopefully, we we'll get six removals or something. I guess the good thing is if I don't score, at least this guy might stay out. The fucking pom guy. Alright, let's try this. Yes! Insta reroll! Oh no! Oh, I've got three rerolls, so I'm like, there's no reason not to reroll it. 
Yeah, what if there's a riot? Oh, fuck me. Oh, what a shit, what a shit one day, so that was, eh? You shouldn't, you should've just done the dodge, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Oh, what a huge, what a absolutely huge. I guess the mock tackle. Block one dice block that was. Yeah, obviously, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think the reroll is a bad move. It was just annoying <laughs> that it worked and came on. Those guys can't really do anything, that zombie's just getting left behind. Alright. Oh, this is grim as fuck, isn't it? <sighs> oh god, he's loner as well. Even worse. Don't want to nine this, you chump. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> I'd love to have based those two guys, but it seemed like more important to make a proper cage here. Oh, one in nine, of course. Nine of death. Oh, shit. Lovely. 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 Oh, now you've got your reserve. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> What a brutal, absolutely brutal fail dodge. Probably game losing fail dodge there, wasn't it? Yeah. I reckon I reckon that was that was what lost me the game there. Fuck. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Where do I want blitz from? I Maybe I should have followed with the uh, with the mummy, but then I mean, then it's really easy to two dice the ghoul, isn't it? Like or bolt and recover. Yeah, I reckon that's game. I'm totally, I'm totally re-rolling chops. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't, don't fail me, GFI. <sighs> yeah, you got, you still got four dice though. Still got four dice of tackle. Yeah. So you're popping it. Do you want to go from there? The only no, thing is whether you wanted to be greedy, bolt, and then go for the score from the wolf. But no, it's not really an option, is it? No, I don't think. Oh shit! Oh wow! And no reroll. Unbelievable, Jeff. Ha <laughs> ha! Unbelievable. So maybe, There's a chance. <laughs> maybe now I bolt at the end of the turn. Oh shit! Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, it's an option. But then I have to make sure I don't turn over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, cyanide. <laughs> thanks, cyanide. Oh, shit. Right. <laughs> So currently it's one, two, three, that is pretty four, funny. Five, six, seven. Oh man. This is huge now. I've got to score to try and get my my seven. fucking good mummy back. So it's two two pluses. 
<laughs> this is great. This is great. The chances of this, the chances of this turnover before the ball is brilliant. Because <laughs> I, I really want to get that ghoul in to make it harder if the fault fails. Yeah. But then, I guess it's a one in nine. Whatever I do. That's funny, isn't it? I'll never fail one in nines. <laughs> oh, but Master X and several or oh, nine. Oh man, mm. what a what a one in nine fail. I mean, I'm lucky I've still got the ball to be fair. But um, horrible that it was a two player swing, wasn't it? Yeah. So, if the bolt bolt fails, it's still like two pluses. Yeah, if the maybe. bolt works, then it's pretty hard. Oh, actually, no, it's not even, not even that hard. Depends where the ball goes, doesn't it? Mm. If I dodge there, that makes everything so much better. It's only fair if you die in a one in nine as well. All right. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think. All right, I'm going to do this because it's not the end of the world if you score because of overtime. Yeah. I would have, I would have made the block first. By the way, that zombie could have. Oh, uh, what the? The zombie could have blocked. Then, if you fail the one in nine, it's your zombie that gets knocked over, and not your ghoul. Oh, uh, I guess. But but if it's a push, then it's no good. True, but then if it's a push, you you're you get to make a two D with block, don't you? Mm, well. Uh, well, it'd be a oh, oh no, he wouldn't, because I've got guard. Uh... But the yeah, but the flesh column will be assisting then. So it'll be. Yeah, yes, yeah. So yeah, so then you could two D with block. I know that's just that's just what I'd do. And then you could have chained him an extra square forward as well. Not that it would have done much. Maybe it would have done. Right. Yeah, that, then you would have changed, and then you'd have been even in a better span, or not really. Yeah. No, that that does that is better spot for the so cool. Is it still yeah. worth wizarding? Probably still worth wizarding, right? Because it's just like a three plus. Oh, oh shit, I ran out of time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, will that be oh, crucial? <laughs> loner action first. First action loner. Oh. Shit. I need this to be a push. Alright, good. Still got a reroll, so I'll try and blast some. I'll try and blast some fool. Oh, he's in base. I can't. I can't. I can't block with my uh, zombies, even though a dirty player zombie has caused all the attrition so far. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, wow, that was bad running out of time. Oh, made a two plus roll. Well, you still got the wizard though, so. Yeah. You know, you could have just rolled a one on it, and then I don't need to worry about the wizard for the rest of the game. Or could have knocked it down right next to him, or whatever. I don't like it just to stop a score. I like it to, you know. Oh fuck me! The entire game down to a four plus roll now. Then probably. Right. You've actually vaguely got a one turn threat now as well, don't you? With uh, movement A. <laughs> vaguely. But vaguely, yeah. AG three makes <laughs> it shit, doesn't it? Really. That's the thing. Um. Like it, it pales in a comparison to like a wood elf one turning attempt, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, I don't even know what the best way to do it with is with Necro. I'll do. Um. Right. So you have to be the one. Wait, is one of them close to leveling? No. <laughs> so you can make the second block. <laughs> I just can't believe. I can't believe that my Poma and mummies have done nothing. <laughs> this is crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only, only, seven. only death caused by a fucking failed dodge. We've both got a Palmer. 
<laughs> You've got two claws and I've got two mighty blow. And just nothing happens. <laughs> nothing happens except a failed fucking dodge. But these, I mean, we've both got big players out, I guess. The Pom's out. And the Super Mummy's out. Can I do it without the ghouls? So I need three squares. No, two squares. Three squares. Three, three squares, squares, yeah. It's not easy. Mm. But, um, yeah, the, K the KO rolls both crucial. Absolutely crucial. Much more crucial had this guy not died, though. <laughs> because then I'd be on 11, whatever happened, and Hippie might have only been out of 10 players, but huge back to 11, whatever happens. Makes, makes Hippie's not so crucial, even though Pom is nice to have. It's nowhere near as crucial as mine because I'll be down at 10 if he doesn't come back. So m my one is absolutely crucial. Plus he's fucking strength 5. Strength 5 is better than a mummy. It's better than a white no matter what fucking skills a white's got. I know I'm going to fuck this up. <laughs> <laughs> so push him into there. That's one square. Then we block from there again. That's the second square. Then we can block. Maybe I'll go blocking from there. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Push there, block there. So he's gonna be there. Gotta have the cheat sheet. Absolutely, man. I should. I should make a revised cheat yeah, sheet, but like I could probably do it in the computer, so it looks fancy as fuck. And then like write an article on one turning and stuff. Wait, can I even do this? You can do it. I'll I'll show you how I do it later. <laughs> not <laughs> not thanks, right now. <laughs> I'm sure you understand. <laughs> Frenzy makes it harder sometimes. I mean, this is okay in this instance. All right, well, that's one. Well, that's two. Yeah, okay. That should be three. We <laughs> should be able to get three. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I think that's good enough. Right, well, I'll, I'll tell you what I hate is I hate the whole method, right? What you could do is you could, um, you could, oh, throw oh, a rock! <laughs> um, where, where that guy got KO'd just there, <laughs> no, um, who was giving the assist. If you put a guy, um, like, adjacent on either side and then just blitzed into him, your first push would already push the oh, would yeah. already pu have yeah. pushed the werewolf forward one square, so um, I think yeah. that's the that's the thing. Oh shit! Now I've got to do a, a really shitty pass as well. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that might might just be a four plus at the end. Yeah, with frenzy done. Yeah, yeah. So maybe the frenzy could have um, could have started here as as a backup um, as a backup plan. And then obviously you wouldn't be blitzing him with frenzy if you had if you were pushing him this way. Maybe I don't know. I'm sure there are many ways you could do this better. Yeah, you can do that, but I just I don't like relying on so many pushes. That's the thing. That's the that's the flaw with the frenzy with the frenzy method, in my opinion, because it's just so hard to roll the fucking pushes, you know. But yeah. Yeah. Alright, so that's one square. And we still need pushes here. Yeah, I should maybe Shit. thought about doing the should maybe thought about doing the pass first, but then obviously if you do the pass first you don't get to make the knockdowns with the two flesh golems. Or with the werewolf or whatever. Alright, there's no way I can chain push back into that. No. No, and I can just make attrition blocks. And a vanity pass. Yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, <laughs> potentially. <laughs> it's not that crazy, is it? Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah? Okay. You can get the vanity pass. I think I would have made that a three dice from the wolf, though, in terms of the game, isn't it? Get, yeah, I know you'd ra maybe rather have the star player points on the... Um... Whoops. Yeah. yeah. I was just thinking you were... Boobies on stream. Boobies on stream. Two, three, four, five, on stream. You missed it. <laughs> you missed it, Blue Nippy. I don't know if you're watching the stream or not. Oh, boobies. Oh, God. Such big boobies. Um, Wolf2DB would have cast. 
<laughs> well, 3 dB. I mean, you could have 3 dB. Well, except it wouldn't have. Um. No, no, I'm do- um, I still hate. I still hate throwing rocks because it's fucking stupid. If whether I win with them or whether I lose with them, I still fucking hate throwing rocks. To be honest, I fucking hate them. Win or lose, whatever happens, I fucking hate throwing rocks. So there. You could have also just thrown the other ghouls. You, did, you didn't need to move him there. Not that it matters, of course. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> but you could, have, you could have moved seven and just passed the other ghoul. Right, the huge KO rolls. Now, will this thrown rock prove decisive? Ooh. And will the fucking mummy come back? Ple oh, they both come back. Holy shit. That's big. Fucked on. Absolutely fucked on. What's the chances of that? One in 16. Uh, absolutely fucked on. Unbelievable. Well, GG. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got to play a fucking skeleton as well. Because cyanide can't program anything. So, in like actual rules, are you meant to choose between yeah. a skeleton and a. Yeah, you get the choice, yeah. Well, the good thing is I can just let you score, I guess. <laughs> like, not that I've got a choice, obviously, but but um, the good thing is because I got that touchdown, I don't need I don't need to do anything. No. Over time, it is probably unless you go ham. I love the mummy to save the day, imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't believe it. Two chances for him to come back, failed them both. He's just dreaming about war cards, that's all it is. Because <laughs> it's Gilgamesh, the mummy. He's just like, oh, war cards. They've probably been nerfed, haven't they, actually? I haven't played Civ 2 for ages, Civ 6 for ages. They've probably already been nerfed. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's just lamenting the nerf. It's no, it, they must have been nerfed. I'm, I'm going to Google Warcart nerf. They must have been. <laughs> no. When I, when I Googled Warcart nerf, there's Warcarts are extremely overpowered. <laughs> <laughs> and Gilgamesh war cards totally OP and then balancing war card pole. But I guess they haven't been they haven't been nerfed. <laughs> Alright. Are you gonna go ham and try to win in normal time? Um no. no. Unless unless crazy stuff happens. I believe you. <laughs> Safe actions first. Wow. Fast will be <laughs> loving this. <laughs> <laughs> war cards war cards are overpowered. Whether you think they need nerfing or not, they're they're definitely objectively ridiculously overpowered. Like completely mind bogglingly overpowered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh good, my skeleton's getting pommed. I wonder if his I wonder if his thick skull will help out. Or whether his AV7 will fuck him. Answers on a postcard. <laughs> I guess he's not getting piled. No. Oh, he didn't even need. I'm a, I'm a six was good enough. To get in. <laughs> they are objectively overpowered though. When you look at when you look at what the, the, the generic unit and the war cart unit, there's no doubt it's ridiculously overpowered. And especially when you compare them to like the other Civ uniques that are like, you know, I don't know, whatever the fucking shitty bombers the US get probably. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think I'll fuck this up now. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
yeah, it, it's the most powerful unique unit, isn't it? I mean, there's, well, I don't know, do the, do the other ones not need horses? Well, not, not, not just better, isn't it? It's ridiculously, completely, outrageously better compared to the other ones. Yeah, exactly, Shattered Dice. It, it, sure, sure, you might be able to win a game if you start next to Warcart, but it's it's completely fucking you, isn't it? They're, they completely fuck you, even if they don't fuck you. Because you've got to think, oh shit, there's Warcart nearby. Got to play like a derp. And then the other guy who's on a different continent or further away from the Warcart is like, oh good, there's no Warcarts here. <laughs> um, I don't really want to pile on, do I? Because you foul me. <laughs> 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 There's no d you don't, oh you foul you did you suck your dirty player? Yeah. Yeah, yeah to to deny the mummy. Yeah. Well <laughs> try to <laughs> <laughs> try to. I mean if I pile this werewolf I definitely want to fucking pile on him. I'm gonna go for it just because it's too good if it works, isn't it? Of course not. I agreed we will. No. <laughs> no, surprisingly <laughs> enough, I'll be I'll be saving my rerolls for overtime. <laughs> Must you attempt tempts me with this attrition final? <laughs> <laughs> Three archers kills everything anyway. Well, well, glaive master. Somebody, somebody told me that range units were no good now, and in fact, melee units were the best. Can can you remember who that was? And I was like, no, range units are ridiculously overpowered because because melee units are too slow. And then they were like. All right, your opinion over someone who's played the game, and I'm like, well, look, it's just my opinion. It is just my opinion, but I'm pretty sure ranged units were always over, were always much more powerful than melee units, and now they're even more powerful due to the increased movement cost. And then somebody was like, nah, 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 melee units are where it's at. Do you, do you remember that, Glaive Master? Do you remember that? <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> um, oh, hang on. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's GFI. Ah. Uh, Shit. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Squirrel Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the thing is, that's the thing, isn't it? So, some unique... <laughs> We're okay. <laughs> yeah, Glee Master, because I read the rules. I read the rules. And that was enough for me. That was just enough for me. To read the rules and be like... My theory is often better than other people's experience. Definitely. <laughs> I, I, I learned to play Blood Bowl in 1994 by reading the rules. And already by reading the rules in 1994, I was better than most people who'd played for, like, you know... Most people who'd played for five years, probably. But yeah, look, I don't want to make a big deal out of Clay Master. It's just funny. It's just funny that you've come around to my way of thinking. And it was just, it was just because ranged units were better in Civ Five. And then in Civ Six, they made a ridiculous, they made terrain ridiculously expensive to move across. So I'm like, well, clearly, clearly it's better now, isn't it? Can't pile on this guy. Well, no, oh, yeah, you can. I guess you can. Uh, is it worth it? Now we got lots of time. It's a sweet animation. Isn't it? Yeah, just read the rules. <laughs> that's that's always my that was always my advice for people as well. Read the rules, and it's like people people don't don't take that advice very often. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just winding you up, great master. Uh, yeah, I don't mean anything by it. Just a bit of fun, isn't it? Got him. File on for days. Get that foul on me. Oh, wow, I made a stun. Can you actually <laughs> believe it, eh? <laughs> made a stun. Oh, I 
go for the one. A stout defense here. <laughs> Not even trying to block the ball at all. Um, hello, VIP Red Joker. Could do that. Yeah, I am. I am sounding cheerful and beat Ceremal because I'm just because I've already given up. <laughs> I've, just, I've given up. I've given up. I'm, I'm. I'm TV down. I've lost guard, which is over and over again. If this guy had guard, it would have been amazing. It, the, this dodge out for a death has just swung the game massively. Um, although obviously, B VIP bleeding hippie made both his KO rolls, and I failed both of mine. Had that. You know, and I'm down to 10. But even had that not happened, and I was still on 11, and uh, and he was on 11 without reserve, it's st I still think it was huge. Being a death. I don't actually give up. I just um, I just become... Um, like, I don't give up. I don't stop playing, do I? You know what I mean? Like, it's not like... And it's... Um, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's not like... It's not like I stop trying. I just accept defeat. But I'm still not. You know what I mean? It's not like it's not like you're American footballers where like you you give up and you and you stop tackling as hard, is it? You still just you, you still carry on thinking, and you carry on rolling dice. Try to roll dice as well as you can. <laughs> it's not so giving up in blood ball is a bit of a bit of a silly thing to say. But yeah, just lower expectations. I mean, I haven't done much to stop and score, but then I've only got one mummy and, and ten players, so there's not a lot I can do to stop and scoring really. I'm just going for the um, attrition for overtime, really. I'm, I'm accepted that there's overtime coming. And if I can get some attrition in before then, that's good, isn't it? Might be a Hardest time to be champion ever. Yeah, Ceremal, I think it is. I think it is. I don't think it's, as I said, I don't think it's the one. Yeah, look, there was a frenzy trap there, wasn't there? I thought, but then you stopped it, so fair play. Back well, I'm still into a one dice. So. Yeah, but that's not really a, a trap, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a mild inconvenience. Um. Yeah, I think it's the I think it is the hardest time, but not the one with the most kudos. I said that I didn't say it was like, I didn't say like you know because I'm obviously in the final. I think it is the hardest one for the best player to be to be champion, because um, as for the reasons that I said, it's um, it was the hardest. To, yeah, it's, it's hard. once you're already in the Premiership. I mean, look how many look how many times Andy Devo won and how many times um, Hon won. You know, there's no way they could have that that kind of you know, the same percentage chance of winning as making top four of 144. No matter which group you get in, no matter which, um, yeah, well, sorry, I mean, I didn't hear any of the convo before, so I'm, 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 I don't mind. But um, I think no matter which group you get in, or whatever happens, um, then... I mean, you still had to get very lucky to get yeah, exactly. a good enough record. Exactly, yeah. It was just it was just massive luck involved. So I don't think it was like particularly impressive to win this season. I don't think it was more impressive. Imp oh, fuck me. What a shit fucking turn. I should have just blitzed with him, shouldn't I? Um, I can't re-roll anyway. It's not allowed to re-roll anything. I should have just blitzed with the piling on her. Um... Yeah, exactly. That's that was my punch, Aliel. It's just so random. So in that way, it isn't harder for some people, because you know there's some people that would say maybe aren't as good as me. Like for example, the Sage, and he's going to be in a much better qualify, <laughs> much better chance to qualify <laughs> if he gets <laughs> if he, in a hundred and forty-four random in a random hundred and forty-four tournament like it was. He could have just you know you know somebody could I, I don't know I don't know. Let's say let's take somebody like. Let anybody in the world doesn't really matter, right? Anyone who thinks they're worse than me, Dode, right? Because Dode said he's worse than Enzone. I don't think I'm worse than Enzone. Whereas Dode said he was, Dode said he was worse than Enzone. So let's say Dode. If Dode gets takes Wood Elves and gets a Strength Four, Agility Five, War Dancer, 
and he gets in a weak group, he's got a really good shot to be in the top and has no deaths and stuff. So it can be easier for some people and harder for some people. It's just mostly more random. And obviously, if the better you are, the less random you want, don't you? And and clearly with like, I mean, with Hon and his crazy Nurgle team, when I won my wager on, won my wager, won my major on Fumble, I knew I had the best team going into it. I absolutely knew my team was the best team in the tournament. And, oh, God, oh. I knew that was going to happen. That's why I should have fucking blitzed. No, oh, dead. Wow. Right, I'm just going to, I'm just going to um, re-roll into chuffs. Um, <laughs> 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 so, I, I meant like I was trying to think of somebody to name Glaive Master. That's why I was trying to think of somebody in the name. Somebody I could name that people would accept. That Because some people would think Sage was better than me, wouldn't they? Or as good as me, which I don't think he is. But some people would maybe think that. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so, you know, you know, yeah. My, when I won my major on Fumble, I knew my team was the best team in the tournament. And obviously when Sage won his major on Fumble, he had 3,000 TV Wood Elves. So it's safe to say he knew his team was the best team in the tournament as well. So, you know, if that's going to happen, it it doesn't really... Was it that... Is that it should, you know... I don't know, I can't speak, I can't make a sentence out of that. <laughs> but if somebody other than him won, it would be really hard. And that's what, so that's why I made another post in that, in that, um, in that forum thread saying, like, it's a lot easier for the guy with 2.3k Nurgle to win than it is for the guy with 1650 Bretts, isn't it? But if you're all at 1000 TV, then it's just, it's just mostly down to luck. I mean, I had some really great luck with this team. And if I hadn't had that really great look, I just shouldn't have done anything this half. Should I have lost my ball carry for no reason? I'm not even going to do anything. Fuck it. Um. Right, there's not enough turns. Um. Or is there? <laughs> 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 oh, if, I, if he hadn't died, I should have just blitz with my fucking pommer. If I'd blitz with my pommer. Well, I would still roll the boat down, so it wouldn't have been, made, made that much difference. It would have been skull boat down. Maybe I shouldn't have got him in. Oh, fuck's sake, dead. Two deaths. Unbelievable. Um, I like to go piling on first because it's just too powerful. VIP Red Joker. It's right, just piling. So. Claw Pom is too powerful. It's literally, it's literally too powerful. All these people who say, like you know, people who complain about it, he's sure it's swinging. Like there's games like this where you're piling on does nothing, but um, there's other games where it just carves teams up, isn't it? And it's, um, it's just too good. It's too good, too good to not take. I think the ghouls are more important to get rid of. Yeah. I'd try to dodge with him, but if I dodged, I'd just fail and die. At least now your guy might get sent off as well as my guy dying. <laughs> oh, just a KO. Brilliant. Okay. Um, right. That will make this less attractive for a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to efficient wizard, don't worry. I could wizard, so there's a 1 in 9 chance of you not scoring on the last turn. I guess that's... That's a factor. That's something I could do. Yeah. Um. I guess I just keep fouling until this guy gets sent off because I'm already going to be probably. Oh, hang on. There's double KO rolls in overtime. Yeah, there's double KO rolls in overtime. Plus, the, plus there's the so there's three KO rolls to be made. So I'll have ten for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, you'd think. <laughs> we have to three. He's already failed two. Because you're going to score on turn 16, aren't you? So, yeah, there'll be three KO mm. rolls. And you may be on 10. I guess it's worth you maybe being on 10, too. Well, I'll be on 10 if I get sent off. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe it's worth it. Maybe worth the risk. Two more fouls. You've got a good chance of getting sent off, haven't you? But that's the thing, isn't it, Valenic? In between two fucking good and ugly shit, there's a fair point where it'd be balanced. But that's the problem with it. it on a game-to-game, -game, it's the game-to-game -game variance of Claw Palm, isn't it? Because there are games where it's even Claw Mighty Blow is completely busted. And then there's games when, um, you know, it just does nothing. Ah. 
Yeah, I could. Sent off for a stun. <laughs> <laughs> Get banged on. At least this is good that whoever wins the toss doesn't necessarily win. Obviously, if you win the toss, you you probably will win. But if I win the toss, you've got the wizard and I've got down two. We've only got one ghoul left on the pitch. Maybe, if he comes yeah. back. I guess if you I want would rather to just remove it, Valene. I would rather they just removed it, to be honest, and then think of a way to balance wood elves and like agility teams in general. Right. I don't think you could want turn, at least. <laughs> it's un it's unfucking likely. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible though. Got the got the ghoul back. He's filled three out of three now. This fucking shithead mummy. Oh, who's still I put on the line now? He's still dreaming of war cards. I'm probably just going to go for attrition blocks, to be fair. There is a chance of a one turn, but it's too fucking hard. Especially with like nine players. Mm. Probably not even possible with nine, to be, to be honest. I think I'd need ten. And a touchback. <laughs> Do you use reroll on the one turner? Yes, Muppet Pac Man. If this one goo was movement nine and agility five, then I would. <laughs> but seeing as that isn't the case, no. That'd be a good. That'd be a good ghoul, wouldn't it? Block sidestep, movement nine agility five. I'd be right. happy with that. Flesh golem's more likely to not die. Ooh, risky business though. Who else have you got? I guess he's all you've got, isn't he? Yeah, you've got to put him on. I mean, it's either that or like a ghoul. Like I don't want to put the whites on. Yeah, you've got to put him on. Yeah, you, obviously you could put the dogs. They've got they've got a block and dodge. Put your two werewolves on the line. It's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon that's. <laughs> I reckon that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good idea. Put their uh, wolves on the line, man. They're scary as well. They'd be howling. They wouldn't want to punch them because they're howling. So, um, I reckon. <laughs> I reckon. I reckon that's the play. You get them wolves on the line. Put tackle on the edges just in case. No, they don't, Von Steinberg. VIP Von Steinberg. They just simply roll twice. They don't always come back. So, knowing my fucking luck, he won't even come back. <laughs> I'm gonna so that, make it like five K rolls in a roll in a row fails for that mummy. Yeah. Right. If he yeah. Didn't come back. yeah. It's possible. <laughs> okay now. He's failed three though. Ooh. Oh god, oh, my shit. one remaining ghoul. Oh, Fucking just... throw a rock. <laughs> what a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what even what even is this shit? Oh, I've got a blitz with him. Oh no, I can't. I can't and the sister. One, two, three, four. I can't blitz with him either. Three, four, five, six. Alright, and get him in there. Can't even make a knockdown with three fucking dice. <laughs> oh, come off him, man. Now you're, now you're probably just going to kill the flesh golem. I fucking hope so. <laughs> I'd settle for knocking him down. Hey. Um, I guess if I don't follow, it makes the fouls like the worst. Not that you're going to foul. No, I'm not going to foul. I all down the next roll. Well, not all down it. You've still got a shot if you lose. I'm done. I'm done if I lose this roll. Alright, let's see. That's one. But the NAF only played tabletop one. tournaments, Bubba, so the NAF doesn't matter at all. In, in terms of people playing Blood Bowl in leagues and shit. He's failed one. Will he fail the second one? Uh, I'd like to receive things. All right, brilliant. Yeah, so he's wow. failed five. He's failed five KO rolls. Wow, that's that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. And I've lost the tots, and I've got nine players. Well, there you go. 
Dice gonna dice, aren't they? It's a shame it's happened in the final. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a shame it's fucking happened in the final. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna sell my fucking players to anybody with this horrible, this horrible fucking. Yeah, well done, VIP Doctor Mamo Bosco. Um, yeah, so I'm not gonna sell any of my fucking players to anyone. Fuck other people. Like, why are people doing that? You know, someone, someone's re someone's re-rolling, and he's like, "I'll just sell my agility for fucking blodge skink." Fuck off! No one's getting ends on my fucking brilliant players. You know, you can fucking swivel. I'm not gonna <laughs> when I'm re-rolling. If I was just gonna quit the league, then I guess fair enough. Because then, you know, who cares? You might wanna keep your precious players alive longer. But um, fuck off, you. No, it was not. It was. I, I knew. Jesus <laughs> I knew Christ. it was not. I knew it was not guaranteed. I knew it was double, double rolls. So yeah. Wow. Cyanide correctly implemented no SPP in overtime. Um, there should be SPP in overtime. So, so. I thought there wasn't meant to be SPP. There wasn't in OFL because in OFL was different because Cyanide had incorrectly implemented overtime in Blood Bowl One. So how they oh. got around that in the OFL was by having a friendly that wouldn't count for SPPs, so that you know you could so you could fudge everything basically, and it it was just it, they would have had it count for SPPs if it didn't um, if they didn't if they could have done, but basically it was a fudge, fudge by the league commissioner. Well, I reckon I'm done now. Seven players. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck other people, Jimmy Fantastic 2017, and also every other year. <laughs> yeah. Well, is it actually Dan's game himself? He's playing Blood Bowl 2. Wow. Oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> well, it had to happen one game, didn't it? That's why this is this is the hardest one to, to win, because if this dicing had happened in any other game, I wouldn't have qualified for the playoffs, would I? At all. Which is which is why you just get one one bad dice game and you're out of the playoffs, which is just stupid. Whereas if in 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 the Premiership, if you get one bad game out of twelve in dice, or even maybe two, you could still win, couldn't you? If you were really good at Blood Bowl, yeah. And um, or you had a really good team or whatever. Whereas with this, you just one bad game and you fucked at any point. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, school dude, yep. Yeah. Right, it's over, isn't it? It's over. I think mean, I've done what I can do. I just, I just click randomly. <laughs> That's a, it's great for Blood Bowl, though, isn't it? That somebody popular is streaming it. Hopefully. Our pylons have been fucking epic this match, haven't they? Is he better than Crandor and Strippin, though? So that's the question. Um, well, I'm sure he's worse at Blood Bowl, but he's he's better in terms of viewing figures, which is which is good for Blood Bowl, isn't it? As a whole, like it, like Crendor and Strippin are good for Blood Bowl, aren't they? Yeah. Even though they're not good know. at Blood Bowl. <laughs> 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 but I mean, that just really doesn't matter, does it? Uh, that's what I found out. That's what that's why I'm much happier now because I've realised that no one gives a flying fuck whether people win or not, do they? So. um or whether they're good or not. So I'm just not going to care if I lose. I guess Sage will be there sucking sucking on his penis, won't he, in chat? <laughs> he'll, he'll probably subscribe to him and be like, Oh, hey, check out my YouTube. <laughs> Check out my Patreon. <laughs> so you'll be posting his Patreon in there for 5,600 5, people. He'll be like, I want to stream tabletop. Here's my Patreon. <laughs> yeah, he's a neuroscientist. He is a neuroscientist. That's what he says. Given up that career to be a blood ball streamer. If you, do you believe he was a neuroscientist? Um, I mean, I know how much blood ball streamers make at, when they're not partnered. And it, if I could be a neuroscientist, I'd switch careers. So, um, yeah, I don't know. 
<laughs> That's pretty cool, Serenian Cloud. No, oh, yeah, that matters, Ducky, but you know. Of course that matters winning overall, but the point is each individual each individual game doesn't doesn't matter, does it, Ducky? That's the point, you know, like I was getting pissed off at every single misplay and what have you. Which is not not such a good place to be at, is it? <laughs> Professional neurojournalist. <laughs> 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 oh god, I hope I don't cast him, no, of course I don't, don't even break him. <laughs> what a shit game for the piling on, man. <laughs> I mean, your guy was knocked out for half the game, wasn't he? So, yeah. so your guy's got an excuse, but my guy's just been <laughs> fucking shy. <laughs> Alright, here we go, our little screen. I, I read on the internet this was a good strategy. This will definitely, <laughs> an, an L screen with, <laughs> with five players will definitely hold up an entire team that can score any time they want. Because <laughs> they don't need to stall out the turns. Um, yes, I'd look at the Blood Bowl 2 stats, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, Ed the Mad, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly, in the mad. They should have made the campaign. They should have made, made. If anything, they should have made it more and more focused on new players. Definitely, because they know that like people like me are going to buy it anyway, even if it's the biggest fucking piece of crap that they could possibly make. Not that I think it is the biggest piece of crap they could possibly make. I think it's not that bad, is it? It's just a few things that the diehards are always going to moan about if they don't get right. And um, they should have made it more, more for new players, definitely. Yeah, not mm. a good enough tutorial, oh, yeah. Sure. Wow. He hasn't even got jump up. Greed <laughs> into another removal. Your guy's done more than me, I think, with his piling on. In half the time. Mm. Oh god. I think he's this. only piled up I think that's only like the second time he's piled on. I still think he's done more than mine. <laughs> that's what <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I don't think mine has done fucking anything. Alright, can you or you could no that's not. Everyone dies should be a skull. Just in just in real blood ball, everyone dies should be a skull. Right, if I bolt, if I fireball these two players, then I can 4 3 plus <laughs> run around, the ball scatter here, bomb it to him, and then he can go in and score. So this is my only chance, is literally a fireball, two knockdowns. So, I mean, this is the thing, right? I'm not giving up because this is definitely the best chance I have. Defin I mean, I could bolt the I could bolt the dog, and then one, two, three, four, five, six GFI. I could I could three plus two plus. I could bolt the dog. I will bolt the ball, and then the mummy could blitz the dog, and then yes, yeah, so I could bolt the ball actually, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six. But then it's really hard because there's only one square that's good. I still think fireball, and then maybe get both of them down. And then still blitz the dog. And then he goes one, two, three, four, five, six. One of these three squares. Passes it to the goo. And then it's a win. Kind of. Alright, let's go for that. Fireball. I think fireball. Oh, I don't know though. The thing is, the bolt just means that I've got no chance, does it? If I bolt, there's only one square. So let's go fireball and there's two squares then. Of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like it was ever in doubt. <laughs> oh no. This is what I should have done on turn one, I think. <laughs> and if I had done this on turn one, maybe that would have won. If he'd stayed out for five fucking KO rolls. <laughs> right. Yes, Ed the Mad, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got four players on the pitch um, and he has a team, so it's a little bit desperation. 
<laughs> yeah, this has been a bit of a no-show, yeah, Jelly Oh. Yeah, it is the nature of Blood Bowl, yeah. Yep. Yeah, just a just a shit show really, wasn't it? I mean maybe I should have bolted him, but if I'd bolted him there's literally only one square that I can recover from. Maybe, maybe three. Maybe I should have just bolted him instead. Yeah. Yep, thank you, Will King. Yeah, it did not, did it? Yeah, kids playing games nowadays don't like their players. Nobody does, though, Papa Piccolo. Nobody likes the players play dying forever. First five always a one, maybe. Fireball, yeah. Yeah, the first one was a one, and the second one was a three, probably. Victoria. Ah, but it was... That was there, but it was a... It was a three on the on the guy with the ball. So had I just bought the guy with the ball, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ball wouldn't have worked either. Yeah, okay, I'm satisfied with that. Ball wouldn't have worked either. Now my tackle has been removed. So <laughs> yeah, you get used to it if you if you don't just quit though, Papa Piccolo. That's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing. That's the thing that's fucking shit about blood ball. Is that it's like, it's really hard for new players, and they should have made it easier. And I wouldn't have minded doing the whole zero, zero attrition as um, Voodoo Mike advocated. I think it was, it's not a bad idea. To be honest. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Pass to the ogre. <laughs> oh lord. Okay. Yeah, best of luck. Too late, too late, nomadic jam. It is, it is done. Bolt, bolt the jump oh. up guy. Get the injury. Disgusting. Oh god, he's dead. Oh no, he regenerated. <laughs> Fucking hell. Holy shit. This is gonna work, isn't it? Of course it is. Ones and ones and skulls has to be has to be uh, <laughs> has to be fair at the end of the match. <laughs> All right, you can surf him. Hopefully, hopefully he'll die, and then there'll be less good players for everybody else. <laughs> well, you don't have to sell your players. I know I don't have to. I was just being silly. <laughs> Yeah, it's still over 5,000 people getting to see the game. Yeah, absolutely. Hey! <laughs> Another pitch fair, pitch fair. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. I'm doing my doing my part there by making that dodge, because, you know, the chance of a cast from a dodge is pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, so you've got a two dice and you've got a surf. You, fa you, shouldn't, you shouldn't score here. Make a foul next turn. Go for the pitch clear. Oh, I should have taken the push. I would have got surf. Oh, yeah. He would have just... Yeah. I wouldn't have used it, and then I would have been surfed. You could have got the pitch clear. <laughs> violent hippie, yeah, he's violent hippie, not bleeding hippie. <laughs> Should get a name oh, like, change after this. Holy shit! I could hand off to the flash goal and level them up. You could. You've got three turns, three rerolls. Level up would be good for next season. That seems incredibly greedy. <laughs> yeah, but you've won. You've won. I guess not if you use the rerolls. If you use the rerolls and fail them, then it'd be really bad. And I guess now it's out completely. Yeah, it's off. It's off. It's off the. Uh, off the table now, I think, because if you used your rerolls to get the ball to him and then failed them all, then, um, oh shit. Imagine if you'd served him, you'd have got the pitch clear a turn earlier. <laughs> Gotta go for the foul, though. Two turns to foul, two fouls on him. Foul with a ball carrier. Oh, man. <laughs> Fuck the fuck is this? <laughs> Three more cars. There's actually six cars, five KOs. The whole team. The whole team dead. Alright, I'm gonna try it. Gonna be oh. super greedy. I'm gonna try this one time and then I'll just pick it up with someone else. Wow. I'm I don't agree with this play to be honest. Wow, it's lucky okay. boy. That's really lucky. That's, that was really <laughs> super greedy. Just the fact I've got two rerolls, and if you needed a reroll, then you know, and you still failed, yeah. you'd have been you'd have been down for the uh, overtime.
But I had two turns. Like, I'd have to like one in eighty-one. Yeah, but it's <laughs> like you've never seen that happen. <laughs> and then if you did, um, I would have had the two rerolls for for the advantage. In you know, you know, two to zero, you'd have almost no chance of winning that. So, so you know, it was a little bit risky, obviously. It was a little bit. It was too even a one in eighty-one. It was too, too much for me. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost plenty of games on one in eighty ones. There we go. There we go. Pitch cleared in the final. <laughs> 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 oh man! And it was my own player that did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Holy shit. Alright, what shall I do this turn? Um, I don't get why it doesn't just automatically end your turn if you've got nothing to do. Well, that won't work. Um, <laughs> what about this option? Uh, no, I can't see that one working out. Um, what if this guy. Uh, uh, no. Okay then. Uh, I guess I'll. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. And then a touchdown from the flesh goal. Unbelievable. I'm re rolling now, definitely. <laughs> chaffs, chaffs out next season, hopefully. Oh, I've never seen the touchdown animation. Yeah? I did I did it the, the day they came out. <laughs> oh. GG. Uh, the, the KO rolls for you is just brutal. Yeah. And then GG. Not really. Then, I say cool GG. Well. It wasn't GG. It was BG. <laughs> 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 yeah, that was brutal, wasn't it? Holy shit! Yeah. If it just the 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 tone was set from the first turn and just nothing happened. And I, I don't know. I needed. I need like with eleven. He took that risk of eleven players to 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 try to deny the um, the mummy, and then um, <laughs> as it happened, um, yeah, got twelve arm breaks to 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 make to make it look all right on uh, ones and skulls. I did get a few nice stuns randomly from the fucking dirty player. <laughs> the dirty player zombie blocking got armor breaks, and. Um, Oh wow! He even got the thirty. Won the white with the MVP. Unbelievable. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. And um, yeah, wow. And it's only got three injuries inflicted. It doesn't count the. It doesn't count the ones that regen because it was actually like six injuries, wasn't it? Oh yeah, because it doesn't count what the ones that you self inflict like dodges. It doesn't count the ones that regen, I believe. Because like oh. th three or four regenerated for me. <laughs> um, yeah. No. I w I think the injuries inflicted is from blocks, and then if oh, you go right. onto the next page, it says casualties sustained, and that's how many injuries you actually ah, took. Okay, yeah, I took six. Yeah, I took six. Brutal. And a death. Unbelievable. Bad positioning of Jimmy, everyone's outside the pitch. Yeah, MVP on the journeyman <laughs> skeleton, yeah. <laughs> Add salt to the wound. It was, not only was he not a zombie, he got MVP. Unbelievable! Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess I could put the the dirty player zombie on the market. Yeah, I guess I could, but I'm I'm not gonna, because <laughs> fuck everyone else. Why would I give anybody a he help in the league? It's just stupid to me. I, like, why would I do that? Why would I help anybody else in the league? But yeah, the team's killed. This guy. Imagine me in the Premiership with this team. <laughs> Holy shit! The ghoul's dead, and ah, oh, the zombie was injured. I only miss next game. Um, yeah, he regenerated, didn't he? Actually, the the pom white regenerated, but the ghoul, the ghoul got mm -hmm. fucking niggled. I think. Oh yeah. Yeah, niggled. So so that that basically kills my chances in the Premiership anyway. So yep, yeah, congratulations, VIP bleeding hippie. Well played. Um, I mean, you, I think you did play well in the first half when like you put the pressure on and stuff, and maybe maybe he's could have bolted. You know the turn where I was in base to base with the ghoul. Um, I was thinking, I was thinking, I was kind of expecting a bolt there and somewhere and like, you know, maybe on the mummy or something and then some kind of, some kind right. of sack to come there and then maybe, because obviously if you're going 1-0 up then you're probably going to win. Um, but I don't think you played, you know, I think you played fine, obviously. Um, but, Apart from maybe the handoff at the end. <laughs> yeah, that, I didn't agree with the handoff. That was, that, to me, that was way too risky because, it just because you can, like if you had two hands on your goal, fair enough. 
because then mm. you'd be still be going two rerolls versus two. But it was the fact that you'd have had to use your rerolls to go for the pickups, which then would have fucked you if you'd failed them, which is still only one in 81, obviously. But yeah. I've lost plenty of game from one in 81s <laughs> and one in 36s, what have you. So... um I wouldn't I wouldn't have wanted to do that. But um thanks for watching everyone. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>